is marketing evil? Now, it's true that some influencers online are more like actors telling a filtered version of their life with the sole purpose of making money and taking money from other people, but that's not who you are. You have a real message that you feel compelled to share because you believe will make the world a better place. You have real expertise. Now, sharing that is a noble pursuit and there is no shame in getting paid for it along the way. But if you ever get stuck on this, how do you tell the difference? Where do you draw the line between manipulation and marketing? Now, if evil marketing is manipulation, good marketing is persuasion. And the difference starts with your motivation, which is where manipulation is rooted in deception and trickery. But how hard would you try to persuade a distracted runner from falling into a hole? Think about that. That's good marketing. The more powerful, the better. If you are helping people avoid pitfalls and improve their well-being in some way. If your platform is designed to do that, how can you not persuade people to take action? How dare you keep your solutions to yourself? Here's how to try this yourself. First, define the pitfalls that your audience needs to watch out for. And second, articulate the pain of falling in and of course the benefit of staying out. Third, keep these front and center during any marketing campaign. Now get to work.